Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we are gonna create this nice wavy logo design in Adobe Illustrator. And today this wavy logo design uh, creates this illusion. It also involves a negative space in the wavy pattern. And to achieve this result we're gonna use 3D object and gonna map this a symbol on the cylinder. It's gonna be a very interesting tutorial. Let's get started. I'm now in Adobe Illustrator 1920 by 1080 uh, new document. And first of all, I want to grab my ellipse tool or click L, hit once on my artboard and set the width and height of my ellipse to 280 pixels. Click OK. I have this ellipse. And I want to visit my effect 3D and extrusion bevel. In order to achieve cylinder, we need to change the position to off axis top and uh, set the extrude depth to 600 points. From surface, I want to choose diffuse shading, check preview, and click OK. I'm gonna modify it a bit later. And now I want to create a rounded rectangle. Grab your rounded rectangle, open the dialog box and set the width of your rectangle 180 pixels and uh, height of your rectangle to 100 pixels. Uh, third corner radius to 50 points. It's maximum amount possible for this size of rectangle. So click OK. And uh, I want to change the color to, let's say, this, this red. Uh, now I want to open my Symbols panel. If you can find your Symbols panel, go to Windows Symbols and uh, throw it to my uh, Symbols panel, this design. In the open dialog box, I want to set it to, le let's say, Rectangle. And change the export type to graphic. Apply all the changes and click OK. Delete my shape because I have this rectangle already. Uh, grab my 3D design. Go to the appearance panel and uh, choose this effect extrude and bevel from appearance panel. Uh, again, if you can find your appearance panel, go to the windows appearance. Navigate to my part. And here from surface, cho choose surface number 3 and select your rectangle. I want to rotate it a bit like so. Check preview to see what you are doing. Check invisible ge geometry and check this option shade artwork so you can clearly see how your art artwork behaves in the 3D environment. Uh, okay, from and close your map art dialog box. Now I want to set surface to no shading and click OK again. Now in order to achieve the regular Adobe Illustrator object, uh, we need to go to object expand appearance, then use your right mouse button key to ungroup, ungroup again and release clipping mask. Uh, from here I want to delete all this stuff. Also, I want to delete this part and this part because we're gonna work with this uh, with this design. I want to rotate it to, let's say, uh, 332 uh, points. So my acute angle is uh, pointing to the bottom and my uh, more obtuse angle is pointing to the top. Hold Alt or Option key on your mark and hold Shift to create a duplicate, move it to the straight line and then use your Shift key, rotate this design on 152 degrees. So it's, uh, in fact, it's rotated on 180 degrees, but uh, I think uh, Adobe Illustrator uh, takes uh, previous uh, calculation into the account. So now Control Y, Command Y to enter the uh, outline mode 
and we need to combine the shapes uh, so they are perfectly match each other. So great, I achieved my desired result. I want to leave my outline mode, Control Y, and then click on this uh, icon to unite my shape. So we have our shape and ready to apply the gradient, but before, probably want to rotate it a bit more, the 55 degrees, and then stop duplicating it, moving a little bit to the left. Like so, the distance shouldn't be uh, very large. Uh, in my case, it's I move it horizontally to the position of negative 60 points and move it vertically to the position of 108 pixels. Uh, apply the result and now Ctrl D or Command D to repeat this operation. So last step is to apply the gradient, so navigate to your gradient panel and uh, keep selected all of your design elements and uh, uh, click on this uh, space uh, to apply the default gradient. Now uh, click your uh, white top point, grab the airdropper tool and uh, select this color 5E74B5 holding shift key i gonna select this color and now i want to sample this color in the same manner holding shift key so i want to duplicate my more brighter color and move it to the position of 75 points on the location use this location percentages and uh, this Bright from the position of 0 points to the position of 25 points. I also want to duplicate my uh, dark stop colors and move it to the position of 0 uh, percent and the position in between my bright uh, colors into the position of 50 percent. So I have this gradient. Uh, Dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. Something like that. And I also want to select all of my design elements and uh, decrease, increase the area of my brightness. Like so. So it's gonna be... I gonna expand the area of my bright colors. And probably I want to move it like so. And this is basically the end. The last step is to apply the type. For this design I choose a very modern geometric sans serif called Type Grotesk. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't hesitate to thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following the end. Have a nice day.